Day. Official Pokemon Day today. 20th anniversary. 20th. 20 years. What's the first Pokemon game you played? The original, like old original? Yeah. Have to be Emerald. Emerald? First one I ever played was uh, Yellow. First one that I ever peaked was X. <laughs> it's, a, it's like the thing is, like for me in Pokemon games, it's like I get tired of playing them after like maybe 10 minutes. I don't, I don't know why I'm like that. And the reason I haven't never ever played the original, like the original original, is because my family was poor and my family didn't really believe in, you know, purchasing a Game Boy or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, all the kids that were lucky enough to have parents. When we first met, we both had it on our phones. Oh yeah, we did. But like, the, okay, so Emerald, I wouldn't say I beat it because I never beat, well, I did beat it, but I didn't, you know, finish beating the Elite Four. Because I remember actually getting to that part, but never actually beating it. So I would never consider that I actually beat it. I mean, I did but get all the badges. You could just get, beat it now. Yeah, I, I did get all the badges. So I would say I kind of beat it. But not really. But officially, with you know the Elite Four and everything, it would probably be Pokemon X, which is kind of sad. And you got to, you're at the very end of Ruby. Or not the Ruby. Sapphire. Yeah, I'm at. I already have seven badges, but I still haven't gotten the chance to get the eighth and you know do the Elite you Four. You don't have much more left. Yeah, it's just I don't know. Me and Pokemon games, I like them, but you know I, I get tired of playing them after a while. Is right when they're about to come out with the new Pokemon game, I just go into Pokemon full Pokemon mode and beat the game so I can get the new one. That's what we did with X and Y, remember? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, we ended up beating like X and Y like a couple days before uh, Ruby and Sapphire came out. So. Oh, yeah, look at our uh, Pokemon swag. I got this Pikachu shirt, and then I also have this Umbreon uh, sweater that I got. I was it at Awa? Yeah. I got this? Yeah, I was at Awa that Ben got me this. And, like, it's just so adorable. It has the ears and everything. And then the tail that has, like, a printed on the back. So it's pretty cool. Ben isn't as Pokemon, you know, swagged out as me. Yeah, but he's got a Pikachu shirt. Yeah. We're going to Toys R Us first. And then uh, they're giving two free cards out. Yeah. And then we're going to go to GameStop to get the, uh, a poster with a purchase. Yeah, it's Pokemon. like a yeah. It's this really cool poster. Um, I I honestly only like one side of the poster, but me and Ben want one. And you know, when me and Ben move out, we'll have the double-sided one. You know, yeah, we'll have we'll be it. yeah we'll be able to show off both sides. You know, I'm still waiting for the moment where I can you know post those uh, limited edition uh, Animal Crossing posters that yeah. I got. Talk to you later then. Hey guys, we're hey guys. back. We're back and we have finally left the Pokemon event. It is currently one o'clock, so this event's going on till two here at Toys R Us. And um we wait so this, this We is got there at like eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. And we waited till twelve because it was gonna start at twelve. And you know, we're in line. There's at least like twenty people in front of us with kids and stuff. We get up to the table where the guy's giving out these cards and he basically says that we're not allowed to get these cards because it's for ages six to 12 that he can give these cards to. And me and Ben were really upset because we waited in line for so long for them to tell us that we're not allowed to get these cards. When on the website, it didn't say anything about an age limit, it just said six and up. So I feel like that that was hor it just made it just really made me upset yeah and we got some posters and stuff but <coughs> we're not we're just there to get the posters what i don't understand is they just had a pokemon 20th anniversary super bowl commercial they showed kids of all ages the pokemon go commercial showed kids and adults of all ages mm -hmm. the pokemon game has been out since 1998 in america and if you were even born in 1998, and by now you're over 12. Yeah. I've been a fan since I was a kid. 
and I'm gonna continue to be a fan. So I don't understand why little kids can't get it. I mean, adults. Yeah, it's not like it's a Thomas <coughs> the Tank Engine. I mean, thing. okay, I get that. Yeah, they're trying to save some for the kids, but still, Pokemon is for all ages. They shouldn't have set. A, they shouldn't be setting age limits for any of this. Yeah. I mean, if the parents get here late, it's because of the parents get here late. I mean. That's just, it's just first. What is it? First come, first serve. Yeah, basically, early bird gets the worm. Yeah, but we stayed it until the line died down, until nobody else was in the line. We actually ran into one of our friends. Yeah. Oh, and we got back in line because we yeah, found we, something. Yeah, we we got back in line because they had this Animal Crossing home designer in this like Zeno Zero Blade, Blade Chronicles. Yeah, it poster. Was, Yeah, it looked so cool. So we got back in line, and then nobody else was hanging behind us. So we asked if we can finally get these cards, and then the guy that was really rude to us says, "Yeah, you're allowed to get it." And you know, we finally got these cards, and. If he was about to say no, I was I was literally going to cry. Yeah, they're holographic. -y. Yeah, they're really nice. I don't even think I'm going to open them. Uh, I'll probably open them. I don't know if I should open these. Well, we can keep one sealed. I mean, mm -hmm. it's going to go in our collection. Yeah, that's true. So we're going to show you some of the stuff that we got. Uh, the same Nintendo lady was there. She, yeah. she, rem she, she was re nice. Yeah, she, she remembered yeah, us. She remembered us. And, um, yeah, so we got this... Uh, uh, Pokemon activity book. You can draw Pikachu if you never drew a Pikachu before. And also you can have, there's other like fun events and stuff in this. And then also, uh, yeah, we'll do that then. Okay. You just run. <laughs> but uh, we got this ginormous poster. Yeah, it's, it's another a, sticker. Yeah, it's another sticker. So Ben got this because I don't know why. It looks it, really it cool. Looks I kind of want to put it up on my kinda wall. Cute in this. Look. Oh, funny. He's scarfed he looks, up, man. He looks... Pikachu looks like a crip. No. <laughs> okay, this. Then we got uh, these other Mystery Dungeon posters. And on the back, it is a Zelda Triforce Heroes poster. So that is really cool. And then... This is my favorite poster right here. Double-sided, of course. Yeah, and it's a really good quality. It's like a like an actual poster poster. Yeah. I like the timeline, and then I like how the back has the, what, the original 151? Yeah, and I think they actually gave these out when you pre-ordered Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire at GameStop, if I believe. Or I think they is, might have. This is Toys R Us on the bottom. Oh, well, maybe it was... <laughs> Toys R Us. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't, I can't re really quite remember. But I remember them giving these out at some point. I just like how it shows the starter Pokemon in the legendary. Yeah, it's a really, really nice poster. Yeah, and then we got some non-Pokemon related stuff too, which is pretty cool. Ben found this, like she said some more out and she and Ben found this and that's why we got it online. But then on the very back it has the Monster Hunter Ultimate 4 one. So yeah, I really like this poster. I'm not really into this game, but you know. I haven't really played it. I know, but it looks this poster looks so cool. So uh, I'm pretty excited that pretty I got nice that. Pretty nice quality too. Yeah. Then we got a Yoshi double-sided one too. I really don't like. I mean, I like how they're double-sided, but at the same time, it's hard to decide which one, you, which side you want. You know, yeah. it's like you have to get two of these. And then the reason why I got back in line was because she had this <laughs> Animal Crossing home, Happy Home Designer um, poster and then the back has like a checklist of them all. And then I also talked to her about um, the uh, custom Amiibo that Ben got me for my birthday, which I actually, um, I actually cried when he showed me that. But yeah, maybe she'll show it at the end of this video. Yeah, maybe I can answered a picture of how it looks because it looks like it looks really good and, and yeah I just i'd really like love to it. shout out the etsy store too mm -hmm. uh we'll put it down below yeah um i i just it's incredible how people can make custom amiibos because you know the animal crossing ones are cards and she just cut the card up and put the chip thing on the bottom of it which is pretty cool mm -hmm. so you want to tell then, me about that yeah last but not least April 2nd, so it's not going to be on April Fool's, but April 2nd, they're going to have the Clefairy and Meowth cards. 
Yeah, so there's a, a, there's gonna be another uh, Pokemon event here at Toys R Us. Let us know in the comments down below if you are over 12 years old and they told you you weren't allowed to get these cards. We got the cards and we didn't flip any tables or raise any stories. We just waited patiently. Yeah. And they gave it to us. So. Which is. Yeah. I hope I hope everyone else had way better luck than we did. Because we sure did have a bad experience until yeah. the very end. So. Hopefully the next event will be better, and uh, we'll hit you guys back up once we go to GameStop and uh, come back with our posters. So our exclusive posters. Yep. So, All right, guys. Peace, so, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. We're back. Uh, we just stopped at GameStop, and we got the Pokemon 20th anniversary poster. And this GameStop was pretty cool because they just had them sitting there. Yeah, they had a really big stack of them. Yeah, so. <coughs> I got two. Yep. And then we were looking for the new cards, the breakpoints, and we didn't see any. Um, but then we noticed this new holder that they have mm -hmm. comes with a pack. Oh, this is like a, like a smooth material. It's really shiny. Touch this. Ooh, nice, and it's Velcro. Velcroed. That's really cool. And it comes with some dividers, which are pretty awesome. These designs are... Oh, you could use that Ooh. to like divide your Pokemon and the potions? Or you think you can oh, yeah. hold two decks? In there? So, but yeah, that's pretty much what we got. It's pretty, pretty busy day. Yeah, we also... Uh, the reason why we're posting this late at night is because we saw uh, only yesterday in theaters, we drove an hour away. Hour and a half. Yeah, just to go see uh, the new Studio Ghibli, new old Studio Ghibli movie. Yeah, that movie came out in 1991. Yeah. So and it's not really a new movie. It was a strange movie, but uh, I I thought it was pretty good. It was a really weird movie. We can do a whole first impression review type thing for that if you guys Later. want. <laughs> yeah. So let us know in the comments down below how your Pokemon day went because we would surely love to hear that because we respond to every single comment and yep. yeah. And uh, let us know if you picked up a breakpoint deck today and if you did uh, what your best card was. So. I think your best card was the potion. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Peace.